Kelly Kleiman, dealershipnews.com, with a buddy of mine, Jim Bowman. And now, Jim's with Uber. Uber is not just about rideshare anymore. They're fully integrated in the automotive industry. And here to explain it is Big Jim. Hey, nice to meet you, Kelly, or see you again, and thanks yeah. for coming by our booth. Yeah, we've had a great data so far, and really excited to announce some of our new partnerships and the ways that we're serving automotive retailers. It's really been a great show. The, the automotive industry has really embraced us because we solve a lot of their pain problems, a lot of their pain points, and we take care of their customers. Well, let's get into some of those pain points. Sure. So you're fully integrated now with the automotive industry. Then we're going to talk about who some of the new partners are. Great. Fireway. Sounds, Sounds good. You're so in terms of like pain points that we're solving, right? When customer walks into your store, right, they have mobility needs because you've taken their car from them, right? So traditionally that's been solved with shuttles and loaner cars and rental cars and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Those all have their limitations, right? We all know that dealers have a hard time and spend a lot of money you know, maintaining those loaner fleets or those shuttles or whatever. So when you have a customer walk up and they have a need to get where they need to go, you call an Uber, five minutes later, a driver shows up, an independent businessman, to take that customer exactly where they need to go, right, in five minutes time. And so dealerships, some smart progressive dealerships, have already figured out how to fold us into their fixed operations, enlist that CSI, that customer experience, that turns into loyalty. So it's really just been a fantastic to see, and dealers are teaching us how to use the product, right? Yeah. They're coming up with new use yeah. cases every single day, so it's really exciting. We're learning from them too. It's an inclusive process because all of this mobility stuff is pretty new. Yeah. Now you've got some new partners. Go ahead and tell sure, us who they sure. are. Sure. So we announced a, uh, a really fantastic partnership with a couple different companies that we're excited about. One is called Update Promise. Mm -hmm. Some folks that are uh, familiar with the collision industry might know Update Promise. They have an incredible consumer experience application, right? It does things like payments and appointments and reviews and all that great stuff. So we have an integration with them where they're going to be offering Uber vouchers to all these service lane customers that they're talking to in dealerships. Mm -hmm. They're growing their dealership business and we're going to grow right along with them. In that same area, we have an integration with My Karma that has been a fantastic partner for us. It was actually one of our first integration partners. Mm -hmm. And then also on the shuttle management side, which is very interesting, we have two integrations with a Canadian company called iDealer and then a company that's up and coming in SoCal called QuickRide. And they, uh, they optimize shuttle assets, right? But when a shuttle's not enough, their integration is going to automatically tell uh, that service advisor when you should order an Uber instead for a better customer experience. So we're really excited about these partnerships. So what's your 2020 vision like for Uber? We know that we're formulating a lot of these, these relationships, uh, sales, revenue, sure. all that good stuff. Yeah. All on the upswing? Right, all on the upswing. I think that you know the majority of our usage up to this point has been on the fixed operations side in the service yeah. lane. We think there's a huge opportunity on the sales side as well, right? Mm -hmm. If you offer an Uber voucher to a customer at the right moment in that CRM process, you get them into the showroom, mm -hmm. right? That's what you really need to do is in terms of you know break down that barrier for the customer getting in the showroom. Give them an Uber voucher. So mm -hmm. we think there's a lot of opportunity in the front side. Also operationally, eliminating chase cars and you're moving cars around, that type of thing. A lot of good use cases that dealers can explore once they adopt our products, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just about shuttle replacement. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you know, we're also excited about getting more vehicles on the road, right, yeah. for Uber drivers. Yeah. And I think there's a profit center for dealers as well. If they can market to, in some of our budding partnerships with companies like Hirecar, really interesting to see how we can turn around and give dealers more business by having them market the cars directly to our drivers. He mentioned Hire Car. I think we just interviewed them. I know them very well. Obviously, they're our innovator of the year. Sure. Uh, so we're really excited to have that. I'm, I'm sure that you're very excited to have them as a partner. Yep. Uh, Jim, thanks a lot for joining us yeah, and uh, giving us a breakdown on Uber for Business. Yeah, sounds great. Really appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks so much. Take care. Take care.